RimWorld is updated to Alpha 10, and with it brought a couple of new major things, but a lot of just kind of uh, simpler things to make it easier for the player. Uh, one of the major things being the new Joy system that was introduced to prevent you from working a colonist to death, basically. Um, now they have a Joy requirement, so they'll need to relax, chit-chat, go on walks, uh, you know, play little games, stuff like that. And there is also a new timetable, I think it's called. It's a... Basically, it allows you to set up shifts and tell people, you know, basically, work during this part of the day, relax during this part of the day, etc., etc. I'll kind of show that as we go. Um, for the time being, world creation, going with the standard seed Yeti, and going with 400 by 300. Just in case anybody's playing along, I know some people like to do that. Emporium of Four. Look, standard enough. New Colony, the uh, difficulties, I suppose, has been changed a little bit to accommodate uh, a broader range of changes, such as prices and stuff like that, in addition to just the size of the attackers, stuff like that. Um, it tells you there on the hover over tooltip what all it does. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to be going with challenge here, the way Rimworld was meant to be played. And going with Cassandra Classic. Because PvP base builder is a bit blah and random random is not that great for playthroughs. Uh, at least, you know, let's play playthroughs. Whole lot of worlds there from previous builds. Now, the biome. It was requested last build that I did a sort of coastal thing, so I think I might do that. But which coast to choose? I'm not sure. I would like something with a fairly decent growing period because I'd like to not have to rely on hydroponics for the entire year. Um, oh, there's an enemy there. The Strife Company. It's a pirate band. It's the other thing too. How many tribesmen do we have? Ugh. Hawks Mountain, another pirate band. Okay, so two pirate bands. That's good. There we go. Temperate Forest. Gets a bit cold in January. There is a growing period. It's April to September, so that's fairly long. You can probably do that. And southern coast, so there's a coast down to the south. So we come right there, there's this little itty bitty patch of boreal forest there. Ah, we'll rock here for anybody playing along. 4293 by 4160. Right there, kind of in the uh, kind of in the center there. And we'll be going with not the largest. I could, but it's just things get still spread out. So I think last time I did the large, large. And I think we're going to stick with that. It's a good thing. Auto starting month. And that's everything there. Select it and off we go. I will be accepting uh, specific colonist names. I'll do that once we actually get into the uh, get into the game. Um, for anybody who would like a colonist, please do leave a comment to let me know. Though keep in mind, people who support me on Patreon get first dibs. Um, and sort of the higher pledgers get certain... Um, aspects of customization to their character as well but i think as low as five dollars a month cheaper than porn you can get your own colonist guaranteed as well as all sorts of stuff for xcom and other games that i do um so do check that out link in the description and looking at this it looks like max alterman here is going to be our sort of go-to all around he doesn't do cooking or cleaning which is a bit of a shame but he's interested in just about everything else um which early on is a bit of a hmm thing because, you know, you're sort of tempted to go all over the place with them. But, uh, you know, fast walker, industrious, or a teetotaler. I don't know. And then we got an industrious nudist here. Oh, that's the other thing. You can customize the um, wardrobes of people too. Um, I'll show that as we get into it though. Interested in art, fairly high. This looks to be a minor warden artist. Whereas you're the constructor hunter. And I think... I think I might randomize you a little bit here. Though seven interested. Ah, five burning passion medicine. Hmm. No, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's just rock this. I'm alright with it. The two people didn't do scary, so Keys is the only firefighter that we've got, so kind of risking it there. Keys is also quite old. I'm a little concerned about, yeah, frail bad back. 
Uh, you're not frail and you don't have a backpack yet, but you will, I'm sure. So really, Keys is the only one. All right, let's randomize Keys a bit. Psychically dull, hard worker, doesn't do dumb labor, so no hauling for them. Uh, age 26, presumably no injuries. Yeah, so you're healthy. Oh, uh, you're pretty bad at everything, but you're a damn good doctor. So we'll do that, I guess. So we got a doctor and everything else. And then our research social thing. All right. I'm all right with that. I never like randomizing too, too much. It gets a bit, uh, bleh. Look at that geothermal right off the bat. Looks a bit different, too. He gave it sort of, uh... Did it always look like that? It looks different to me. Sort of a isometric view rather than a top-down. Hmm. There's another one there. Yeah, that's definitely different. Wow, there's a lot of them, though. Jesus. Tons of muffalo going around. Tons of muffalo. Okay. I'm alright with this. There's not many mountains, and that's fine. Um, I am not too keen on doing the bunkers. It's a bit too safe. But I think we're going to be settling probably down here somewhere. Rely on this mountain here for our steel supply for the time being. We're going to rely on bulk traders a bit because there's a lack of mountains for the metals. You can't designate and grow wood, but I don't think that'll be a problem with this particular environment. But otherwise you would have to rely on buying wood from them. Uh, bulk traders, that is. Unpack steel, silver. There's some gold here. No, it's more silver there. Huh. Yeah, all right. It's a fairly standard. Nothing too exciting, but we do have that southern coast, which is what was requested. You can't really do much with those a thing. Uh, you can walk even in deep water. It looks like I don't think you were able to before. Hm. All right, so let's set up. Oh my God, boom rats! Oh, I haven't fought boom rats in so long. You can designate things by just clicking on them now and, and designating hunt, which makes it really nice for things like this. It's like, oh, select all the buffalo, hunt. But, uh, there you go, then cancel. Makes that really nice. I think you can do that with everything, yeah, hauling and all that too. Can't double click that though. Hmm. Alright, so we'll go down there. So, pack up all the stuff, equip the gun, shooting three, shooting four, shooting ten, you get the rifle. You get the knife. And you get the pistol. Medicine, wood, silver, uh, steel, yes. And there's a steel down here as well. I already unforbid that. Should I bother hauling the wood? Yeah, I'll, I'll haul the wood. That's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And then just zone up a general stockpile. <sighs> Looks like that'll be our first bedroom, originally. Um, so, just kinda... Up here, I guess. For any and all things, all hit points, all quality. And this'll just be important. Not in chunks, corpses, sure, everything. And after we tell people to haul... Oh yeah, there you go. The burning passion flames and all that. He mentioned that uh, he put that in. And I was like, oh, thank God. Um, I still feel like uh, coloring the outside of the square would be a bit nicer, though. Red for burning passion and, uh, you know, like a nice light orange or something for, you know, just regular interested. Um, because it's like burning passion, fire, you know. At least get the color in there. Well, you're the only one who could firefight and... Uh, you're the Burning Passion Doctor, but you're good at doctoring for now, so we'll just put you on force, I remember. Everybody be patient. Flicking for switches. Um, locking doors now is considered a thing, so just one for everybody. You're the warden. There, so that way they construct them when they run out of materials, they're gonna go mine, and then as they get the materials, they're going to, uh... to use it. I think that might be okay. We'll leave that as such for now. So then the only person not doing anything because I don't have any constructing or mining queued up, the only person doing nothing is Jones, who I could have grow. So there's that. I'll set up a growing zone down over here. Rich soil. Oh yeah, a lot of rich soil. Very nice. Something like that. And then what we'll do... 
I need Zerigium on one of these, because that'll become our medicine after a while. Um, corn is a fantastic thing. I do love corn. It can be eaten raw, which is really nice. And then we'll go for... Oh no, we'll just do more corn. Corn, corn, corn. For now, that will work. And... Well, should I do hops? Nah, we'll just leave it like that. And for here, I will queue up. Nothing. Let's let them haul first. There's a joy thing that we got. Horseshoe pin requires a little bit of steel, and it's just playing a game of horseshoes. A chess table there. A billiards table. Need a bit of cloth for that, though. Oh, yeah. No fun value to it, it looks like. Just kind of is what it is, I suppose. And in fact, I will just do uh, furniture. Woo! Some new furniture's there. Just a few sleeping spot beds. They don't require any. Um, anything to do. Some nice dining chairs. Sitting at a table requires a lot more steel. Wow, what's the point? Why would I do steel dining over the other one? I'm not sure. Beauty 7, Comfort 7. Point 0.7. Okay, it's less comfortable. This basic one. Hmm. Okay. And then the monkey head armchair. Uh, but I want to get the docks on it. Uh, Alright. I'm not allowed to see what it's capable of. I assume it's really fucking comfortable. What else do we have here? I can make these out of anything now. Research tables, cook stove. No, not that. A sculptor's table. Can make that out of anything now. It's good. Power stools kind of is what it is. Oop. Event. Equalizing the temperature between two rooms without allowing people to walk between them. Mm -mm. Okay. That is so nice. Thank you for that. That makes the bedroom situation so much more, um, well, possible, really. There you go, Joan's already working on that. People still hauling? We about done with that yet? No? Just working on the steel now? Okay. Well, let's haul. Get these out of here. Is this just a steel wall? Okay, I'll continue that then. Steel wall there. Looks like you took out conduit wall. Good. Um, so then I don't feel quite so bad for just going with standard wall, because you can just feed a conduit into it whenever. Basic wood auto door there. Temperature is a bit cold outside. 15 degrees Celsius is early morning though. So I think we'll be okay, but it looks like... Given it's May and it's, you know, a bit chilly at night, we're going to be needing heaters rather than air conditioners, so we'll have to queue that up at some point. Um, don't need it now, though. Got a nice geothermal right here, which is so useful. All right, we gotta research it first. Ah. Um, anything new here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, geothermal obviously doing that first. Um, structure, no. Production. Research table. Just out of wood. It's powerless so you can put it wherever you want. Basically it can be outside so I'll just queue that up right down there. And... I wonder should I go for a little bit of solar and batteries just to get us by? Or will we be able to do the research quick enough? Research is 8 which is pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> Just a basic wood table here. I will be beautifying everything later on. Oh, that's just 
Oops, how it is. Can we sit at the corner yet? A new Montreal? I'll do you one more. New Canada. Canada, 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 Canada. One of those. I don't know. We'll see. If somebody's sitting here eating, can somebody sit here and eat? Has that been fixed? We'll find out. Next slide of wood. Who was doing the growing? I keep pausing it when I go into that. No one pauses anyway. Um, you do, but you don't do plant cutting. Damn. That's a shame. Um, so to get around that, I have to queue up a growing zone underneath the tree and they'll chop it down that way. But, um, bit cheaty. So I won't bother with that. Let us hide. Stack piles, I know what's up there. Q, and how many meals do we have? 21 still? Very nice. Okay, very low on wood. So we're gonna have to do, um, unless we chop down more trees. Very nice. Okay, working on the research. Yeah, I think we might be able to just hold off on the whole power thing. Um, as the armory supply dwindles, we'll be getting closer and closer to doing power. So I will just- ooh, a visitor. Oh, hey, it actually tells me visitor. Very nice. And haul this guy. Prostophobe, who's neurotic. Really good at mining and building, though. And very young. Hmm. Is that the thing? How are we doing with the needs? Ugh, Jones is a bit uncomfortable. Ah! Turtle on the face! Ah! Get it off! Well, that actually reminds me, I gotta do, um... Names. Uh, who was the teetotaler? There we go. Our first one, Max M becomes... Jack Spratt. Because teetotaler, they don't do alcohol. So there you go. And we have KPO0 and Rata to give out as well. I just sort of took the list that I had last time and, um... I just kind of moved it around, randomized it a bit. So if anybody on Patreon has a different name they would like, um, let me know. You are... are you the grower? Kind of. Alright, so Jones will become... Rata. And then Lovin becomes KPO0. Who? I don't think I had last time. I think um, Rata and KPO0 are new ones. Well, KPO0 not new. They just never got a chance to get a name last time. Hmm. We're really short on colonists last build. I hope to change that though. Because factions nearby. Hmm. The town at the stream I might go to war with just to take one of their dudes prisoner. They might resist arrest. That's a new thing. But I think that's a risk I'm willing to take for a new quick colonist. I like the pet turtle that we got. Can I name it? It'd be great if I could name turtles and stuff. There you go, something for next build. Pet cages. Wood and steel, higher quality, uh, harder to get out of. That'd be key. Give people pets. Meals, 10 and 8, okay. I think we could probably... Oh, digging struck, not cancel. Furniture, give people some nice beds. Um, wood beds? 25 wood per, can do that. How comfortable is it compared to 0.75 versus steel, which I'd imagine would be harder. No, okay, also 0.75. We'll go for wood, it's more abundant and makes more sense to me. Looks a bit like a prisoner cell, doesn't it? Get a lamp up, but there's really no purpose to it. Here's the um, the timetables where you can queue up, you know, the stuff, which I really like this because that means that I can have a uh, a sort of overnight type thing. I can have hunters work in shifts, 
uh, so I don't run into the case of multiple hunters going out and shooting each other in the face, <clears throat> the few, and it just makes everything a lot easier, more customization, always good, and then the outfits, right now it's just kind of anything, but, uh, you know, if I wanted to edit their work outfit, I could, you know, do that. So take off the parka if you're working because it reduces work effectiveness. Take off the power armor because it slows you down, stuff like that. And they seem to put um, emphasis on this stuff. This is like priority zero. Um, it's like the first thing they do when they wake up is change clothes. So anybody who's a nudist, you would just set them to, you know, nudist. But uh, we'll just go with, with anything. I don't know, and I think that's, I think that's most of the new things.